welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, we will study some other graphs such as contour plots and surface plots. The contour plots and surface plots are the visual representation of the effect of various factors on the response. For that, you go to the stat, you go to the design of experiments, go to the factorial, and first of all, let's select the contour plot. Here, your response is the harness. We don't have to do anything over here. Let's just click on the OK button. You get the contour plot of harness versus temperature and pressure. Here, your response is the harness. These are the legends for different units of harness. For example, the deep blue legend is for your harness of unit less than 30. And these colors represent the associated levels of harness. For example, deep green color gives you that harness is greater than 90. You can see that on different color species over here. It shows that if I set the temperature at around 294 units and pressure at around 117 units, I get the mean harness as 94 units. As I go on decreasing the temperature and pressure, my harness value would also decrease. Increasing the pressure might be costly or sometimes increasing the temperature can be costly. It will allow me to see what can I do to get the same range of the response. For example, suppose I saw here that as my pressure increases, the harness also increases. But suppose my machine cannot give so much pressure during the process of molding the plastic. The maximum I can go is suppose 100 units of pressure. So it shows me that at 100 units of pressure, the maximum harness I get is 70 units. But for that, I have to increase the temperature for around 284 degrees. So the control plot is very beneficial graphical tool to let you understand how should your factors be adjusted so that you get the same range of response over different factors. That means you get same range of response for this color, same range of response for these and similar colors. This is all about the contour plot. Now let us see the surface plot. For that we go to the design of experiment, factorial and click the surface plot. I click here the OK button. It gives me the range of the factors and also the response in the 3D format. For example, I have the range of temperature between 200 to 300 degrees centigrade, the range of pressure between 80 to 120, and range of harness from 30 to 90. So I can understand the different effects of temperature and pressure over the harness. One advantage of the surface plot is you can even move the surface plot to different dimensions over here. For example, I can move this graph over the Z axis or over the Y axis or over the X axis so that I can understand the different effects of the factors on the response from the different angle. Here I see that the maximum response or the harness can be obtained when the temperature is the highest and also the pressure is the highest because this peak correlates with the maximum value of the response. So the summary is the surface plot is the 3D representation of different factors and the response. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.